Hello everyone, and welcome back to um, All of Fabric 3. Oh, I forgot the name for a second. As you can see, I've discovered a new little trick. So, um, by holding down my vein mine button, which is the button just above the uh, tab key, or I guess just below the escape key, I can actually vein mine back a few blocks. Or, or I guess it's not really a vein mine, but it's like a an, a, an extra mining step, right? And so we can go even further. And I've been mainly looking for iron, although we seem to be getting a bunch of other stuff. Um, you can actually see on the map where I've mined it. It looks pretty cool, this uh, 3 by 3 sort of uh, mine shaft I'm going through. I've left a 2 gap in the middle. I, I know there's like better ways to do it and all that sort of stuff, but um, I, I thought this was probably the easiest for, for how I'm doing it. Um, now, I wanted a lot of iron. We have 22. And would you believe me if I told you the all of the 22 came from this, this distance here. All of these other ones were empty. Not a single bit of iron to be found. Um, only iron in this last one that I mined then. Um, now, I, I was going to try and get this forge hammer thing. But it needs five blocks of iron. And I don't think we quite have that. Um, so, what I was thinking instead is we can perhaps try and make a drill. So, in fact, while I'm down here, I should probably grab a little bit of redstone. So, that we have stuff to work with. That should be plenty. Uh, I'm going to have to drop stuff. We are full of just about everything. Everything that we can be full of. There we go. 13 redstone. Is that all of it? A little bit here. Beautiful. So I'm going to head up. I've made the, the staircase a little bit better. A, a little bit better. Barely. Um, and we also have more loot in here. Um, there's a few things I want to try out. We can probably dump most of the cobble here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to grab all this good stuff. Take it back up top. And I'll meet you guys up there. Alrighty, um, while this stuff is all processing, which apparently is going to take a little while, um, there's something else I want to make, and it is called a sandwich table. Now, I'm thinking this does what I'm hoping it does, and it means you can make sandwiches, right? It's, it's pr pretty self-explanatory. We need two planks and two smooth stone, which is stone smelted again, so let's get two of this cooked up, um, get a little bit of dwarf coal, and I'll smelt this up, and I'll meet you guys back here, and maybe I'll harvest our crops while I do that. And actually, another thing I was told was that apparently we can use potash on the actual farmland before we plant stuff. Oh, yeah, look at that. Fertilized farmland. So then apparently we get faster crop growth. And, I mean, we've got quite a lot of this. So let's just go ahead and maybe vein mine all of this stuff so we can get all the wheat all nice and fancy. Um, oh, does it run out? No. Okay, so it just changes the type of farmland and then obviously the water effect has to happen on it again. Um, but that's fine. Do the wheat. Now, we are actually going to need a lot of wheat now. Now that we have this um, sandwich table that I'm, you know, waiting to smelt up, we're, we're, we're going to need wheat to turn into bread. And honestly, that looks pretty good. Looks like it's farming pretty fast. Now, I don't know if we're going to have to, like, you know, replace them every so often. Um, so, let's place celery back down here. Oh, do we need celery seeds, perhaps? Yes, it looks like it. Boom, boom, boom. I think they were celeries. I'm hoping they were. Alrighty. So, um... I just recorded a good 15 minutes muted. Uh, so yeah, that, that's that, that, that's unfortunate. Essentially, oh, it, it, it's... Oh my god, I, I did so much. Um, we have a drill, and we, we used the drill to get some diamonds. So, so basically what happened is we made this drill, right? Um, you, you've seen all these components before, so it's, you're not really missing out on too much in this department. Um, I'll charge them up as well in this battery box. Um, the main problem we found with the drill is that it doesn't have much storage. It only holds 10,000 uh, 10, units. And when you mine two blocks, it essentially uses like 0.1, right? Um, 0.1 thousand. So it burns through pretty quickly. Um, I'll head down into the mine to show it off. Um, we, we also only found two diamonds, of course. A, a vein with two diamonds, can you believe it? Um, th the cool thing is, though, we, we can sort of work on it. It's going to take a little while, but we can make this drill better in a few ways. Um, one way improves the speed and also the power storage, and the other way only improves the power storage. So I messed up an area over here, um, and then I think I ran down this way, perhaps. Yep, I ran, I ran down this way, tried to mine up this wall, but of course this was broken open. Over here there was a chest. I wasn't sure if it was going to be like a, a living chest or something like that, like a mimic. And then the diamonds were right over in that corner. Um, so yeah, I haven't found anything else. Nothing too interesting. Um, but with the vein mining with this guy, or whatever the mod is, the digging mod or whatever, we can sort of continue doing strip mines. Um, I'm trying to look on the map to see where it's safe to mine. Um, what we have to do is mine the top block. Oh. If we mine the top block, 
it should work. See, see how it's like um, clearing the ground as well? Now, the problem with using this instead of, say, the hammer, is the hammer mines apparently all the blocks. So it'll mine Blue Knight, um, Andesite, all of that stuff. Like, watch here. If I hold Vein Mine and do this, it goes through all of them. Whereas when I'm using the drill, it's specifically Vein Mining whichever blocks. So instead of Vein Mining, like, all this stuff in a row, it will just get the dirt. See what I mean? Um, so, yeah, th there's a few ups and downs. It's faster than this lead pickaxe we have. The lead pickaxe is pretty slow. The drill's a bit faster. Um, as for storage, though, I was looking at batteries. Maybe we could make more. Then I looked at a lithium battery. This guy needs plates, which needs the forge hammer, of course. Um, and then we can make a lithium bat pack, which I think I can wear. And then this guy will store 600,000 energy, and this guy won't empty instantly, right? It'll keep him charged. So that's pretty cool. Um, now, as for the sandwiches, the sandwiches are a different beast entirely. They are unreal. I'm actually upset that you guys didn't get to hear my my initial reaction to it, but it is amazing. It is amazing. I'm, I'm building them up because, boy, oh, boy, are they phenomenal. Now... When we're doing our little vein mine stuff where we break all the blocks at once, it uses quite a bit of hunger, right? So these are actually important. These are sandwiches that we make because it'll help us. Now, the way that this machine works, or I guess this table works, is it doesn't actually have an interface. You can't open it, but you can place bread on it. And then in between those slices, you can place other things. <laughs> You can place a lot of other things. Let me gather all of these. Um, we might even, if I grab some appetite, I might, you know, um, grow some more things. Let's also, I kind of want to plant more. You know, it, it's fine for now. Oh, tomatoes. Can we harvest you? I'm going to have to punch you, aren't I? There we go. Tomatoes. I think we actually got some seeds. There we go. Plant those back. Okay. Have a look at this. You right click the ingredient and it goes on. Nothing too crazy there. You can keep putting things on. <laughs> you can put a lot of things on. You can make yourself the most delicious meal. If you want it to look nice, you can definitely do that. You know, we can sort of, you know, split things up, place all the things around. Oh, you right click to take stuff off it in case you put the wrong ingredient on. Then you simply put another slice on top. You shift right click to finish your sandwich. It looks absolutely stunning. 3D textures in a sandwich. Who would have thought? And you can actually see the uh, hunger points that it does. Just see on the bottom of the tooltip. Um, it does 40 hunger points and 34, uh, saturation, and that's due to the ingredients that we're putting it. So, what we can do is we can maximize our sandwiches, because obviously we don't need 34 saturation and stuff like that. We can, we can sort of, you know, find the perfect amount of ingredients to make the perfect sandwich and then just mass produce them. Um, well, maybe not mass produce, but, you know, make the most of our bucks. So, we can eat this guy. It makes an insane sound when it gets eaten, and then... Oh, and then we get our perks for being nourished, and we get resistance and speed. Oh, because we've maxed out these stats. That's awesome. So if we max out fats and maybe sweets, we get even more um things. Too many sweets are bad for you. Maybe not then. Um, so we've got speed now. Vegetables above... Um, oh, the average of fruit and vegetables above 90%. And the average of carbohydrates, fruit, vegetables, protein, fats above 85%. Awesome. So now I'm like super fast. That is really cool. Okay, yeah, but we can make ultimate sandwiches that have, like, meat in them as well. And, like, fill all of our saturation. So that is awesome. Um, I also, I'm very intrigued to make, like, the ultimate sandwich. You know what I mean? Like, just unlimited celery sticks to the sky. I want to see how high it can go. Um, that's pretty much it. The other thing was I smelted up a lot of iron. So we have 40, and I think I put more in here, didn't I? 35. Okay. I think... How many blocks is this? Ooh. It's enough. We can actually make this forge hammer and start making some of these other machines. Um, in particular, the compact is what I'm after. So I think, was it just this? Yeah, forge hammer. Here we go. Um, this bad boy, I guess we'll slap down here. Pretty loud. There it is. Um, hammer. Click to switch to saw. Okay. Um, now, I think the first thing we want is this compressor. Yeah. So we're going to need three iron plates, which are apparently iron double ingots on a forge hammer. So we're going to need two of these, which are apparently two ingots hammered. A little bit strange. So two ingots go in there. And then we take out that. Okay. So I would like three of these. And then I just put them back in. 
And I can't think, to be honest, I thought I was going to have to like whack something with a hammer. So that is a very nice recipe, to, to be honest. I, I was expecting a lot worse uh, to happen, if I'm honest. Um, so grab all this, grab the redstone. Um, do we have much refined iron? A little bit. I think enough, actually. Ooh, we might need... Nah, we probably don't need that. So, so what is the compressor? What does he need? He needs an electric circuit, which is going to need some insulated cables. That's fine. We can make one of these. I remember the recipe. Boom, electric circuit. Um, we are actually going to need more of these smelted up. So I'm going to put 10 iron in to get, you know, turned into refined iron. Uh, because I think we need a, yeah, machine frame. We also need four stone. Um, I think I'll do that over here. One, two, three, four. Boom. Have that smelt up. And I'll be back when that's done. And hopefully, I won't be muted. Alrighty, that is the eight refined iron. That is the four stone. Let's go ahead and make this machine frame. And then I believe it's something like this. I reckon I can just remember it. There we go. Three plates. You don't do a lot of... Um, crafting yourself once you get into modern minecraft there's a lot of just clicking and pasting things in sometimes it's fun to just place down some machines um now how are we going to hook this guy up because we sort of have a nice little system here uh, i suppose we can just hook it up over over on this side is there a cable under here no okay we're gonna have to make a, another little set of cables that should be fine um these cables as well um l let me check um cable yeah um I think these have a little bit of energy loss. They're not the greatest cables over super long distances. Um, and for those, we have other options, like um, glass fiber cables are pretty good. Um, and then you have like gold cables. Not too sure what the deal with those is. They're super insulated, so I guess maybe they have a lot less energy drop. Um, and then there's high voltage cables, which I guess um, take a lot more in them, right? And then a superconductor. That looks ridiculous. Um, okay, let's dig under here. Um, where's my drill? Uh, uh, the drill's pretty good because it works on um, dirt as well, where, you know, a pickaxe doesn't. Let's place the compressor there. He'll fill up. Um, and there. Yeah, I, I, I guess that's the thing. We have this bad boy now. Um, do I want to do much more this episode? Um, and more in particular, what can I do? So, empty cells and aluminum plates give us lithium. Do we have aluminum? Is it even aluminum or is it aluminium? I don't really know. We have tin. Let, let me let me search aluminum. Aluminum. Where do you get the U from? You get U from the dust. Huh. Okay. Where do you get the dust from? You get the dust from grinding up aluminum. Um. Okay. Or you get it from almondine, bauxite, or clay. So yeah, I think bauxite in an industrial electrolyzer is what we're after. To be honest. This guy, oh, he, I think he's doable. What does this need? Advanced alloy, mixed plates. I think it's doable. But looking at the recipe, we're going to have to get into the um, nether. Wait. Eight diamonds. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Because we had the, we were given some diamonds, right? I just really confused myself. I'm like, didn't I get two diamonds? How is there now eight? Okay. Um... How do I want to do this then? I've got to keep them separate so that I don't forget about it. Let's... Oh, no, the chest doesn't work. All right, well, there we go. Th th they can stay up there. That should be fine. Did that just pop out? Okay. Um, I think that's it then. I think anything else, like, we can't really get to it. A actually, what about the resin basin? I think this guy required... Um, Well, this is all rubber planks. I think this guy required some plates, didn't it? Oh, it needs a lot of iron though. Like, a ridiculous amount of iron that we just don't have. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to go mining if I want to go down that path. But it, it's within reach now. We, we just need more iron. We need so much iron. Um, are there any other tricks to getting it? There's UU matter and there's a quarry that we can get. A steam quarry. Needs steel in, like, every single fashion. Which needs steel plates. Which need these steel plates. Which need compressed steel right and steel we get from a blast furnace with refined iron and coal okay so it it's possible look like we have all the stuff now it's just a matter of that's a really long process um and and once again that's gonna have to happen in another episode if we want to even try to get a quarry going I, I don't even know how the quarries work in this pack if they're even worth using um 
But I think we're good. Ooh, actually, before we do wrap up, let's finish by looking at these quests that we've completed. Because we've completed quite a lot, and we get a few rewards. What are these? Are these lead? They are. Ooh, that lead is going to be very good. We make a lot of tools with lead. But I'm wondering if there's meant to be another reason for it. I guess we use batteries. Batteries use lead. What else are we getting? This looks like sap. Then we get, what, six iron ingots, or iron ore, sorry. Um, we get, what's this? L limeade? Limeade? I guess it's like lemonade, but it's made with lime. We're getting some coal, some rubber, or, sorry, some copper cables, some tin ore, some gold ore, some, what's this? Tungsten? Okay. And then, ooh, a bunch of electronic circuits. Okay. Um, we got a lot of junk. A ridiculous amount. Let's, um, get the sap processing. Um, and put some of this stuff away. And just to wrap it up, can we, if we wanted to, make a sandwich with a drink in it? It looks like we can. Do we want to... I don't really want to do it yet. I, I, I'll leave that there as a template. That can that can wait. Um, but what does this stuff do? It works as a fruit and a sweet. Okay. So that will take care of the sweet aspect. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, well, I, I, I'm pretty happy. I mean, I'm not happy that I was accidentally muted, but um, it, I'm happy that we got back on track. We pushed through, we got stuff done. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me out quite a bit. Um, if you want to be a channel member, you can do that too. It's next to the subscribe button. Um, if you want to join the server, you can do that as well. Um, in the description, there should be a link to the Discord, and then all the information, like the IP address and all that stuff's in there. Uh, and that's pretty much it. If you have any tips to do with the series, let me know in the comments. Um, and I, I guess that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.